weaknesses. It occurs to me that a little bit of color in that regard would serve us well. Um, giving the benefit of the doubt of those who are opposing our opposition to the rule so that we can reauthorize Export-Import Bank, let me give you the data. Export-Import Bank has 90% of its transactions approximately go to small businesses, about 90%. Most of us tend to think about those as all direct loans, but they aren't. The fact of the matter is the bulk of them are what we would call accounts receivable insurance. But there are also revolving lines of credit, and there are also loan guarantees, not actual direct loans. And these, again, are small businesses. These are businesses like Manhasset Specialty Company in Yakima, Washington, which makes music stands and has a global market. 35% of its sales are exported and a good portion of them are assisted by the Export-Import Bank. In my district, Pexco in Fife, Washington, makes traffic control equipment. And they are growing their export business with the assistance of the Export-Import Bank. So it is the small businesses that first will feel the damage. But for those of you who say, yeah, but the biggest share of the dollars go to big businesses. Let's go back to Economics 101. A lot of people point to Boeing. Ladies and gentlemen, Boeing does not manufacture airplanes. If that surprises you, please pay attention to what I'm about to say. Boeing does not manufacture airplanes. They design them and they assemble them with the assistance of 15,000 businesses in their supply chain, about half of whom are small businesses. In the tiny town of Puyallup, relatively speaking, in my district, there are 17 businesses within the city limits whose principal uh, customer is Boeing. 30 small seconds. Businesses, Don't recognize for additional 30 seconds. Small businesses will be hurt first. Over the long term, big businesses will be hurt. I did not say earlier lightly. I did not say earlier in hyperbole that we will have major announcements causing grievous damage to the manufacturing base of America. We cannot allow that to happen. We simply must, for the sake of small businesses and for the sake of our manufacturing base, reauthorize the Export-Import Bank. It reduces the deficit. It creates jobs. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I'll continue to reserve my gentleman time. Gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Colorado is recognized. I'd like to inquire of the gentleman from Texas if he has any remaining speakers. Does the gentleman from Texas have any remaining Thank speakers? you very much. Uh, I would advise the gentleman I do not have any additional speakers. Would be the only speaker to close. The gentleman from Colorado is recognized. I'm prepared to close. I yield much myself the remainder of the time.